Might be making another uh, world-class Joe decision. I just don't know if I want the headache. So we're out here like shop landing, garage landing for lunch. Our little take on overlanding. Got the eco behind us. Um, didn't really consider that after the auction, we wouldn't have any chairs or desks or places to sit and eat lunch. Yeah, really forward thinking I am. You want a sandwich? Welcome back to the Lost Cause Ranch. Today, we sold everything, even all our chairs. That's right, we're having an auction. And we'll go through everything from the preview day to the actual sale itself and the pickup day where everything in here goes away. It's an old online sale, no live auctioneer, but that did work out well for us. And why do we have an auction? Well, as you know, we are getting rid of our 4,500 square foot commercial shop. I'm building a place at the ranch. It's not gonna be quite as big, so everything's not gonna fit inside. So I figured we might as well have people pay us to come pick up our stuff instead of us having to move it on our own. Sounds like a good plan. Except this, we're not selling the llama chair. So we just got done with our little open house preview day. Got stuff packed back into the shop. G4, not in the sale, but needs to be inside. Don't have windows. But the Kubota is going, forklift is going, and we got our random tools we aren't keeping set out along with a multitude of things over there. A touch more spaced out than in the last video so people could wander around, check out what's in this stuff besides the fact of a lot of money lost for me. But the whole auction process is moving right along. This place should be pretty much empty in less than a week, including all the hoist. Today is Monday, loadout day is on Friday with some scheduled appointments outside of that available. I guess next up is to Watch the auction. Sashi, don't worry, we aren't selling the doormat. You can lay there until we go. All right, so we're back at the house and the auction is about to start in 12 minutes. So uh, we'll kind of watch it tick through on some of the stuff. It's just my entire life getting sold tonight, but no big deal. All right, so as we see, the first item has about five minutes left. That guy is our bed pack two post hoist. And that one's brand new in the packages, packages, package package i guess it isn't a couple boxes but yeah so that guy will go first that's kind of the star of the show to me where else can you get a brand new ben pack all right so the way this guy works is everything is online and it'll close out like we got two minutes left on the first one. Oh, it just moved over but yeah so that guy will be ending in a little over a minute and then if someone bids it'll extend out and then everything's staggered a little bit like right there just got a bit on the forklift and that extended it another two minutes. All right, so it looks like we are about a third of the way through so far. One of the early ones is still going. All these grayed out ones are ones that are closed off and done. And then we're hitting the ones that are still active here and we're in the office section. Gotta have desks and stuff, you know. So we've now reached what I would call the painful section of the auction. This is a lot of timing tools for various BMW Mercedes Audi, Volkswagen stuff. And it's selling pennies on the dollar. Can't take it with you, I guess. <laughs> oh, and this uh, this row, pallets of parts, where'd it go? Okay, these, that is like a couple hundred bucks, 150, 77, $77 there. <laughs> that cost us $12,000. It's almost comical. Um, I guess you either laugh or you cry, but yeah. That one, that one stinks. Sasha, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to limit the treats after that guy. So this has been a stressful ordeal for Sasha. Wore out. We still got her one ear up so she can hear what's going on. It's also been stressful on her because I made her be quiet. That's tough. <laughs> but we are down to the last item and just 20 seconds left. And then my entire 15 year collection of stuff. I mean, not the entire stuff, but most of it. It's gone, just toss it away. But there it goes, one, zero, closing. So the retail shop is officially closed out. On to smaller and better things. All right, so the auction's over, but um, before everyone shows up to grab stuff, we wanna get some of our stuff moved out of the way. And he's gonna run me over. But now we're gonna get the, we're gonna get 
Ted's Nada moved to his house onto the trailer. Good thing about this is the brakes don't really work that great, so hopefully we don't roll it back off the trailer. So we got the Nada all loaded up. Gonna go drop that off. But we also have a couple toolboxes from the auction that are loaded up too because we are dropping off the old budget Overland LR4 to get these front wheels. I guess the back ones too. But mainly the front ones aligned after that, after we did the control arms. And the guys who were doing that bought those so we figure we would just drop it off when we drop that off. Save them a trip. So it is the morning of the pickup day. By the end of today, the commercial shop should be pretty much empty. So we'll be getting closer to closing that chapter of our lives. Yes, we have contractor edition eco we're starting off great so far we got trees and birds up above and we must have had one drop something kind of hard to see but we have a cracked windshield that's super wonderful i've only ever removed windshields out of stuff but i think we'll take this as an opportunity to learn how to install them too man that's kind of a bummer we must be selling all the good stuff here we even have fedex here picking stuff up. We got two of them here picking up stuff. Well, here goes another trailer load. They're empty out in here. All right, we're at the next morning. It's starting to look pretty cleared out in there. Um, we have one of the hoists gone last night. That was a little bit of an ordeal. <sighs> Took a lot longer than I would have thought for that to get pulled down. So the next two, we're gonna help the guys. These guys seem pretty on top of it grabbing one and we're going to pull the other one down don't need to be here all day at least it stopped raining so the g4 with all its lacking windows can go back outside and give us some room i say within the hour we'll have two hoists down instead of four hours for one approved man lift right there that's that's an approved man lift So now we got the trailer hooked up. Might be making another uh, world-class Joe decision. Yep, looks about like a Joe project. Dude, she's a uh, interesting. All right, so <laughs> we got the jump pack on this deal. See his voice. His voice is the same one. Happy Joe. She got 3,900 hours. We're gonna um. I assume see what's going on here. I don't have a whole lot of hopes for any of this, but we're flashing a code. Want to fucking just turn her and go? 
<laughs> He's pretty chooched, boys. Pretty chooched. Well, let's see if the light works. No. No light. We're in good shape if we get a... Oh no, it's not even starting fluid. I thought this was starting fluid. Penetrating oil. <laughs> Might need a little bit of that, judging by the looks. I don't know, what you guys think? I think this is about a Joe level project. It looks like something I'd buy. But you could do some digging things. Missing a little bit of teeth, so we need some dental work. Real stable on this side, not so much on the other. Yeah, we got some, we got some rust issues. But we got a floor mat. Fixing those rust issues. A little mismatched tire. This looks like she's been sitting a minute. <laughs> Didn't seem fine. Damn, we got a whole pallet of batteries over here. Gonna fit in there. I'm gonna drive it home. Now we're cooking with oil. We're gonna we're gonna do something here. Put the little flashy lights on and fucking head across the bridge. Alright, we'll give her a whirl again. I still don't know what I'm doing, but. Ain't that special. We don't have to lock it. So now your farts are on your back and your back is on the farts. Yeah. <laughs> so what is going through your mind at this moment? I just don't know if I want the headache. It's uh... I mean, obviously I like projects, but... This just might be a bit much. Guess unless we can get it cheap enough. Thoughts? <laughs> Junk. As you see, doesn't look like there's a backhoe on there. So that was a little bit of a failure. But still working the deal. I'm 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 a sucker for anything as long as the price is right. So so maybe we can get there. We just couldn't come together quite yet. But you never know. You may be seeing that thing on the channel soon. The fact that it fired right up like that. Kind of switched to how I was feeling about the situation. I was really not all about it. Now I'm a little bit about it. Obviously, you know how I like to buy things. Always something. So we got a little uh, hydraulic line leakage going on. Right, right about there. So right there seems to be the major issue. Looks like all the fluids can come out instead of staying in. Not supposed to be like that. So I guess we gotta get her fixed. Uh, at least it's not like 37 feet long. Couldn't have broke a two foot hose. I had to break one that reaches all the way up on a triple mast. But I guess it is what it is. It's sold, we gotta get it taken care of. So I guess we'll ship Ted out to get that guy taken care of. And the big old Jeep hauler. Wouldn't be a Lost Cause Ranch thing if something didn't get a little chooched up. So Ted's back. We got some ball flex, ball pack premium with the shark skin for her pleasure. But no, uh, 80 some dollars later that we shouldn't have had to spend, but she's a long one, 210 inches. So right here you can see the hoist that we took down. As you can tell, there's really no fluid. And the one that they took down, this is after we oil dried it up. But we got that circle along with that there and some footprints everywhere i mean i guess i really can't complain they took it down that was part of the deal but it just they kind of left it that way i had to sweep up all the oil dry i would just i would just think if you are in someone else's property you would at least leave it as good as you came we'll get her all cleaned up but she's looking pretty empty We were talking about this morning, we should have just offered to pull them down. The ones we took down in the morning, it was about an hour and 15 minutes and that was with three guys on each of them. Both of them were down in that hour and 15 minutes. And you can also see the casualty of the forklift there. If you run the forks too far down too fast, you can slack off on that pulley and pinch it. Not really their fault, it just happened. But Seems to be our luck, but look at how shiny and new that is. But 
but mainly the reason why we decided to tear the other hoist down was after the little bit of an ordeal there, we didn't want anything damaged on the other two, whether it be the shop or the hoist. And more importantly, didn't want to see anyone get hurt. That wouldn't have been any good. But we are down to just a few things left in the auction to get picked up. Same people bought this hoist, the AC machine, the other hoist, transmission jack, and the forklift. So now that we got that hose all fixed up, we just have the Land Rover engine that was in the auction, and that was bought by someone who watches the channel. But um, we need the forklift for that, and then the guys who bought the two hoists, the forklift, the AC machine, can take all of that. The only thing we needed the forklift for after hauling all the stuff from the auction out is to get our compressor down from up top because this thing was just too bitchin' to sell. Got the heavy hauler out, hauling all our big items. Kubota that could. You guys remember that one? Got some bits for it. But it's starting to look pretty empty in here. It has not looked like this for eight years. It's when we purchased it. it was the last time it was this empty. Um, interesting feelings. But I'm actually happy to see everything out of the way. And that is exactly why we decided to have an auction because we didn't have to move all that stuff. It was a lot of things and we would have had to put it somewhere. Instead, people just paid us money and took it off our hands. Sounds perfect to me. Next up, we start building the shop. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one.